Okay. <laughs> and it's almost opened the whole sack of snacks. Yes. I usually get this in the evening. But now that they are working, huh? So they should get some extra. So, um, huh, you see, yeah, it's done. It's finished. I even uh, put the buttons. And, um, And the collar is here, but it's going to look completely different on my friend. I'm going to make a short video probably later today to show you on her, right? Because uh, she has more here. And she's shorter, so it's going to look completely different on her. But now I'm wearing it because this is the last time I'm having it. Hmm? Okay, so um, uh, my uh, landlady is a very nice, and my new landlady is a very nice and kind uh, lady. She has a daughter and a granddaughter, and blah blah blah. And I even know one of her granddaughters. But anyway. She always wants to help me out because I'm alone and, you know, she wants to be nice. So she sends me her gardener. He comes once a month and basically it's an old man. He's even, you know, like smaller than me weaker than me and uh, not the brightest uh, marble in the bowl not the clearest one at least so what he does basically is a bunch of uh, bear favors it's a croatian idiom and what it means is, hmm, let me explain it to you. So basically he came two days ago and uh, he said that he had uh, swept the courtyard and he had raked the leaves, although I don't know which leaves and which courtyard because I had swept two days prior, so there were maybe some leaves, but that's irrelevant, you know, the leaves on the ground. It's not like there's a pile of leaves, you know, there's just here and there. That's good even, you know, for the whole ecosystem. So. And then I noticed that he also trimmed the uh, pomegranate uh, bush, which uh, I appreciate. I like that. At least uh, that's, that's one good thing, actually, that he did. He also dug the circles around the trees and some roses, not all of them, you know, so that the water would get um, in sooner or quicker. And then I usually you know, work around the garden on Sunday, so the day after. When I was doing my gardening, I noticed that there was no cat hole, which I had dug for the cats, because you see, the whole, the whole garden is actually a big parkour, playground for the cats. So I dug a hole, 
because I saw once that they liked playing in the hall. You know, one is in the hall and he's praying on the other, attacking. They have a small hill and they have a hall, you know, it's like a parkour for the cats. So he filled the hole with the rubbish that he swept. It was, it was not only the leaves, but some, some plastic pieces of, I don't know, bags, plastic bags, some pieces of plastic and glass shards. So he didn't throw it in the bin, he just put it in the hall and put a small layer of, of earth on it. And I, I mean, that's the bare favor, you see? So I had to dig out the, the trash, I had to put it away, I had to, you know, sort of see what is really trash and what can be used as compost. And then on the other hand, I do have a compost bin. He didn't even put the compost in the hall, which would be actually a logical thing to do. Eris, watch. Watch. He didn't do that. He just put the trash in the hole and filled the hole with the trash and left it there. He didn't even told me about it. He didn't ask me, oh, why do you have a hole here? It's weird, right? It's weird, why, why do you have an open hole? So he just assumed that the hole should be filled and, you know, closed with trash. So I had to dig it out, I had to put it away, I had to uh, clean it up and then at the end when I picked the lemons all the uh, leaves from the lemon trees fell down <laughs> into the ground so now I still have leaves on the ground probably more than I, what I used to. It's like his work was all in vain, you know. Okay, not the cutting of the of the bush. That was that was good. That was a good thing that he did, and he he could have done that only, and spent uh, fifteen minutes here, and and that's it. Instead, he was pretending to be working. He spent an hour here, even more, and I couldn't be with him because I was preparing my yoga room. So I, I, I wasn't able to uh, see what he was doing. <sighs> anyway, now I have a lot of lemonade to do. And uh, the moral of the story is sometimes the best favor you can do is just do nothing. If you don't have the tools, if you don't have the knowledge, if you don't have precise instructions, just don't do anything. It's sometimes better than, than doing something and then you make more, uh, not harm, but like, you know, there's, there's still more work after the favor to be done, which completely negates the favor. That's the bare favor. So now you know. I'm almost at the end of the row. So what I'm doing here is like a flag. Uh, well, it's going to be a pillowcase. Um, I have a small pillow here. Uh, it's actually in the other room now. I don't know why. And uh, I just needed a break from uh, counting every stitch. 
counting the rows, making sure that all the stitches are the same and uh, not missing one. So this is just uh, mindless knitting. Well, I mean, it's just counting the rows and I can even see it by looking at it, how many there are. So, I'm at the end of the row. This is gonna be a nice um, flag of my apartment slash house slash oasis slash cat castle yeah okay see you in the next video bye